So, it's a Sunday, February 17th, 2019, and we're in uh, at Stone Mountain, Georgia, hiking up Stone Mountain. It's somewhere in the 40s, probably 45 degrees, and it's been raining all day, so I'm doing this one solo. It's supposed to be slippery when wet, so uh, we'll see what it's like. It's fairly steep, roughly a 700 foot climb over a mile. Okay, from the bottom where the carving is, you couldn't see the top of the mountain because the fog is so thick. And uh, we're starting to walk into that now, but you'll never lose a trail. It's uh, remarkably well marked. Getting steeper. roughly halfway I think things look a little more uh, civilized okay pretty steep through here and slippery when wet I'm shooting some video so me too I gotta go down and then get, catch myself coming up Good. Can I help you? No, no. I kind of like to do it by myself. Okay, cool. Make it more fun. Wait, to make it look like I'm the only one here. In fact, it's a perfect day for it. Yeah, exactly. Uh oh. You okay? Oh yeah. Just wet. Okay, more of the same. Down and up. And from down below, this shrub right here, I thought was a couple of people sitting there, taking a break in the fog. And I'd say this is just as steep as the handrail section. Okay, arrived at the top. Not sure how long that took. 35, 40 minutes maybe. It's uh, cold and windy up here now. It's so foggy, you can't really see hardly anything at all. In fact, I know I'm at the top because it's level. Also, I don't know if you can see what's behind me, but there's a, a building back there where the tram comes up and I'm taking that down. Yeah, I wonder what the view looks like over the edge. Sure wish I could see more. But it's so foggy. Practically missed the building. My traveling partner. Alright, I'll go with this number of 825 feet. Taking the express elevator out of the fog and down to the ground. If you're afraid of looking straight down, and if you're at the other end of the cabin from me, you're at the wrong spot. Because here comes our tilt forward. And back. And forward. And back. And that's the end of our thrill ride. The carving was started in 1923. A famous sculptor by the name of Gutson Borglum started on that carving. Well, Mr. Borglum got the hit of lead done, but in 1925, he got into a dispute with the financial backers, said, I'm out of here, I know I can do better elsewhere. And he did better elsewhere. In 1927, he went to South Dakota, where he did Mount Rushmore. The second sculptor came along, Augusta Lupin. He took over for Borglum in 1925. Well, Lupin got the first two figures completed, President Davis and General Lee. But in 1928, the funding for that project ended. They ran out of money. And that carving sat there, two-thirds completed on private property from 1928 to 1958. 30 years it just sat there. 
Well, the state of Georgia came along in 1958. They bought Stone Mountain and the land around it. The state said we're going to make this a recreational area. We want that carving completed. So in 1964, the work on the carving resumed. And the carving was finally finished in May of 1970 with the addition of Stonewall Jackson being added to the side of the mountain. It took a total of 47 years to get that carving completed. The last sculpture on that carving was Walter Hancock. It's President's Day and we waited all morning for the temperature to go up. Uh, 50 is about all we're going to get. So uh, we're ready to head out on a bike ride. Okay, we're off. It does look wet in there. It looks really wet up here. Deep enough, I'm not even sure I want to ride through. Okay, the tunnel was going to be the turnaround point, so we're just going to stop where that giant pool of water is and head back.
and just like that, we're back at the trailhead. And it warmed up a lot. Okay, Tuesday morning, 19th. Just another shot of the crowd. Like a couple of groups of school kids. Yeah, self-guided tour from here. Thailand. Oh wow, it smells 
like apples. Smell it. Definitely smells like apples. Look at that green. Just tastes carbonated. Okay, now I have to go to Africa. I don't smell anything there. It's Nothing kinda, at all. Kind of ginger. Is it? Yeah. I couldn't smell anything. Must not have enough. Stony ginger beer from Tanzania. It tastes like ginger. But I like saying Madagascar better. Jealous? <laughs> no good. Thumbs down. Ooh, cool color. Where is it from? You have to say where it's from. Well, like I said, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> like Listerine. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it too. <laughs> uh, I got it, yep. Fanta from Costa Rica. <laughs> it smells awful. Lip from Chile. It kind of has an acidic taste. Pretty so so on that one. Yeah. ponchos just to get back to the car. The water's so deep you can't even uh, get to the shelter. Okay, all we did was cross the street. We wanted to go to the uh, Centennial Park. Or Plaza, I guess. Centennial Plaza. So uh, here it is in a freezing cold driving rain. Okay, more shots. Walking in heavy rain. My feet are soaked, taking pictures of water while it's raining. Hardly makes sense. Water is just flowing down the steps. I was hoping to get some of the thunder and lightning on tape, but haven't gotten lucky yet. Carrying the uh, official Atlanta Olympic torch. It's lighting up a little because you can see the tops of the buildings. I think it's getting a little worse again. Buildings disappearing in the fog. But normally here in the park there'd be a fountain going right here. But it automatically shuts off when there's lightning in the area. Or so we've been told. saw Billy Payne's statue on the way here. One more time around. This is a nice area now, since evidently, since they fixed it up. We got CNN headquarters right here. Of course, the Coke place is right across the street to my right now, across the park.
And we have the College Football Hall of Fame right across the other street. Made it back to the parking garage. That was a little crazy. Hope the camera survived. Got pretty wet. No wonder it felt so cold when we got wet. Tuesday, February 20th, and we're off on another bike ride. Big improvement from yesterday, weather-wise. Okay, we've only gone about 15 minutes, and uh, just wanted to stop and say that it's uh, raining. Uh, you can't feel it when you're standing still, but when you're riding, it's just really hitting you in the face. I don't know if you can see it on my glasses or not. Stopping for another shot or two. This looks uh, pretty ugly. But uh, evidently there's some historical significance. It was a pickle factory. All right, it's just plain raining right now. Okay, we are fair weather bikers, so this is the worst I've ever ridden in. You want to see? You can see how much Melanie's splashing up water behind her and up her back. Just more through the trees on wet pavement. All right, this is the end of the road for us. We're going to turn around and go back. Stopping at Poppy Hill Road, 9.3 miles out. Okay, that was nine miles in either light rain or heavy rain, but I don't think it ever stopped. And we are totally soaked. It felt an awful lot colder than 58 when you're riding in the rain. Okay, walking in Savannah. At seven o'clock, and we're going into Leopold's for some ice cream. After that cold, wet bike ride, we're having ice cream. That was a lot of rain. I figure we've had about uh, six hours of nice weather on this vacation so far. Otherwise, it's been all rain. Thursday morning, heading north, uh, sort of on our way home, just outside of Columbia, South Carolina. Had to get a shot of this, never seen anything quite like this before. Vending machines at the rest stop. This must be a rough area. Okay, we're in Columbia now, at the uh, state capitol. Get a shot of that behind me here. And I just want to make a couple other notes that uh, we also went to uh, Atlanta earlier and saw the uh, Georgia state capitol. But I didn't get the camera out at that time because it was raining and I didn't want to get it wet. So we can see how well uh, that worked out in this trip. And then uh, another note uh, along the weather lines is uh, Melanie brought four pairs of shoes, and there's only one dry pair left, and that's what she's wearing today. And one more stop in Columbia at the world's largest fire hydrant.
then we're back on the road and heading up through the Smoky Mountains.